And again, we'll yeah. kind of see how things continue to evolve here as the season goes on. Yeah. Second period about ready to begin, as always. ECL Elite Division action brought to you by our friends at Kovalon Lockridge. We continue on here. Looking for the game's opening goal. Fulpa Toflin finds the pass, and there it is. Pro Arska from quite the angle, but the opening goal is on the board for Red Hawks. That was beautiful right there. Just I didn't think he would be able to make that pass. I thought for sure he was just going to put a quick shot and test that short side of Vincere, but he's able to get that pass across with very, very limited space right here. You see it was poked off, and that was about as far down, low in the zone he could have gone to make that pass. He does it. Proarska makes no mistake. 1-0 here for Red Hawks. The turn of events here. Opportunity across once again. Pass off the mark. Frees up space for Kolosloff. One on one with Furion, who gets the better of him, at least temporarily. Feed in front, and the puck is in. We are tied at one. What a shot from Tunkelia. It looked like police control had it, but indeed we're tied. I think he got a big piece of that. I maybe not. I don't It's really hard to tell from that replay, but the delay. Uh, in the celebration and stuff really makes me think that it took some extra time to get in the back of the net. Perhaps this will kind of show us a bit more, you know, just good hustle from Kolaslav feeds that over. To yeah, me, it, it almost so looked like he gloved it, and when he put the glove down behind him to stand up, the puck may have crossed the line. Kolaslav takes the hit. Wrap around bid doesn't go. Ten seconds left. Reality check into the zone. Dunkelia back to the forehand, looking across, can't get all of it, shot through, and Police Control finds it and covers 1.1 on the game clock here. Bouncing puck continues. Great save by Finseri on the short side bid. Another chance on the short side, loose puck bouncing around, and Finseri will find it. Opa Toflin tries to hold on to it, has Gotchen with him. Tries to go back all the way through the crease as it went off the post. And nearly turned over. Nico and Kim Johan again working on this breakout. Good movement and they score! Out of nowhere in the dying moments of this overtime, reality check, find their breakthrough and take this first game two to one. It only takes one good look back the other way, and this one is over. All that sustained pressure for Red Hawks, all those chances, all those looks are for naught as reality check in one fell swoop come back the other way. Another tight pass right there, kind of reminiscent of the angle that Fopa Toflin had to work with on the goal for Red Hawks is what he had to do right there, getting that across to Kolaslav and about half the net to shoot at. He won't miss from there. He picks up, I believe, his fifth goal of the season. And a huge two points, extra point, I should say, for reality check. Changes that might need to be made? I mean, what do you kind of see for this game? Will there kind of be that willingness to adapt a little bit more? Or do you kind of see, at least in the early stages, uh, perhaps still that over-reliance on trying to force the puck into the middle on Martindale, the no-look glove down. Tough break. Or reality check. Furion across. That one on angle. Nearly found a way to sneak through. Olaslav, that one blocked as well. Of course, it wasn't until the second period of game one that we saw both teams score. Until the end of overtime. What a spin from Kachin. Another great stop. Big contact there. Arska, second chance. Knocked away. In a few seconds, Furion, shot club, save Vincere at the buzzer. Yeah, it's just that everyone's defensive skill stick is going all willy-nilly and hitting pucks at every angle. Short side, kept out, second chance, they score! It was bound to happen with how the run of play was going. Pro Arska, right place, right time, and Red Hawks finally find the breakthrough. Yeah, Puck might as well have been a hot potato. Excellent recovery from Fonsetti on that first one. You saw him slide over to his left to get that initial shot. I think we'll get a look at it right here as, you know, bouncing Puck sliding. Oh, I guess that shot didn't actually get off, but 
that slide over unfortunately put him in you know a, a bad position for the the way the uh, the shot eventually went in no fault of his own of course that puck was just bouncing like mad they're on side and kelly the captain Goes to Nico, looking in front, across, does not go! What a look, that secondary pass from Koloslav. He still needs to win this one. Aggressive setup, face off one, reality check shot, loose puck in front, shoveled on, and they score! Finn Sere as the extra attacker ties this game at the last possible second! <laughs> no cap <laughs> it's Jimmy <A> cap <laughs> absolutely unreal right there from behind the net just trying to feed it back out front somehow goes in what a crazy sequence looks for the deflection gets another shot on goes behind the net to retrieve it and his pass out front must have clipped the pad of polis control hands off Kolosloff takes a big hit one back by Niskalaukaus. What a feed to Kolosloff, but he couldn't handle it. Opatoflin, another defensive zone win. Still, I'm sure, regretting the loss that allowed the tying goal. And there's the winner! Pro Arska on the rebound. And Red Hawks Esports get the win in double overtime.